in Agra. Yeah, so ch checked into our hotel um, and we're about three or 400 metres from the Taj itself. Um, you can see it from the roof of our hotel, which is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, we'll show you that for you in a second. Travel here from Jaipur, overland. By car. By car, although you can do it on train, a bit shorter on the train, but it's about three or four hours, whichever way you do it, overland. Yeah. You can fly, but it's expensive. expensive. Just one thing, we're going from Agra to Varanasi, which is our next stop in a few days, by train, overnight train. Got to check out this hotel at 11 a.m. <laughs> and we're not on the train till 11 25 pm. It's so, gonna be a very long we've got day. A long day. So, potentially found a really cheap hotel, like three pounds for the night with breakfast, and we'll probably should use that uh, somewhere to crash during the day so we're not wandering around the streets. I for 12 up. hours. For 12 hours. We are on the rooftop of our hotel, and over there is the Taj Mahal. <laughs> what a view! Let's go and see it closer. So behind us is the Taj Mahal in the distance. It so, is very in the distance. So I couldn't have found our way in. Um, it's not actually in the distance, it just looks like it. We've got a big fat head. Um, couldn't have found our way in and we didn't want to go and pay the full price for tonight. So we plan on going for sunrise tomorrow. So we found a rooftop bar, restaurant, got some food, butter chicken. It's all right. But the view makes up for the food. It's there! So yeah, it looks further away than it is, it's probably 200 metres away, 300 metres away, uh, quite close. It's just dropping so. dark and it looks like a grey colour against the sky at the moment, it's really pretty. Gate into the Taj Mahal. I'm uh, so excited. This is super excited. Um, just being frisked and rummaged. Um, no microphones. So they've come and get our tripod and our microphone. And so so we'll do the best we can. Just camera alone. We'll go through the those doors now and see the Taj Mahal for the first time ever. Yay! So behind us is the Taj Mahal. You can see it's a flat head. There we go. Yeah, I've got a fat head. Um, it's so white in the sunlight, like it keeps disappearing because it's that shiny, it's amazing. It's so busy as well, like so many people. So, built in the 1600s as a monument to Shah Jahan's wife. Favourite wife out of his party, number one wife. Yeah, 100. Uh, married for 19 years, gave birth to I think 14 children and in 19 years. Died during the last childbirth and this was his monument of grieving to her, which is pretty impressive. Pretty really impressive, both died at the age of 39. Uh, she was really happy with him. his other 99 wives for the rest of his life, <laughs> um, but you know. After, after this was finished, Shahjan got bored of Agra and like this was his final thing. So he then moved the capital of India back to Delhi. Yeah. So he basically says, so Mum Tass is dead, so I'm pissed off, can't be asked anymore with life, so um, just not bothered. So, so yeah, what a fantastic monument to um, somebody you love. Do you want one of these? Yes, please. The same. <laughs> <laughs> I think it cost three point, I think 25 million rupees uh, when it was built in 1600. If they built it today, it would cost 350 billion rupees. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of money, but, uh, which is probably 300 billion dollars. Let's go check it out. So, on one side. So we just at the Taj Mahal and they're cutting the grass. Now, I know it's 500 years old, but I think they could have upgraded to a lawnmower. These ladies, probably one's 80, the other one's 60 maybe. Uh, they're cutting the grass by hand and they've got a long way to go.
to Agra Fort. Very similar to the ones in <laughs> Jaipur. And Delhi. In Delhi. Um, I'm assuming they're all built for the same purpose to keep people out, keep people in. As are all forts. <laughs> keep people out. <laughs> so this is. Not good on the history, Lucy. But yes, forts, <laughs> by their general definition, are to keep people out. But we're not going to go in. Uh, it's probably nothing to see anyway. Uh, it's extortionate again for, for foreign tourists, should I say. So I've just had a couple of little street snacks. Probably going to find some more. Our hotel, our hostel, our backpackers hostel where we're staying just for kind of 12 hours. Um, kind of hungry. Lucy decided she wants to eat upstairs in the, I think it's called the Good Vibes Cafe. Bought a chicken biryani and a couple of soft drinks. Um, well, let's try this. So, lots of chicken. Going for that. Chicken's really good, really tender and spicy. Dipped in that sauce and spicy. The chapatis are really good. So the place that we've just eaten biryani is actually rated number one in the whole of Agra for eating um, on TripAdvisor. It's got like 1,100 excellent reviews, um, and it was just by luck actually that we ended up eating up here. So really good, well worth a visit. Chicken biryani, egg biryani, very nice, no spicy. I'm KF restaurant, I'm selling chef. Indian food, Chinese food, quantity food, Italian food, and baking sauces, salami. Yes, yes, pudding. We just did our room that we um, hired for the day. <laughs> That we booked for the day just to put our bags in. Uh, we've got a late train. Just somewhere to relax and enjoy the air conditioning and have a snooze. And the Wi Fi. Yeah. We're getting in a tuk tuk in about half an hour to go to Tunnel Junction at train station to get the overnight train to Varanasi. Yeah, so I think it, the train leaves at about half past 11 and it gets to Varanasi about half past 11 tomorrow morning. So 12 hours, overnight sleeper. I think we're in 2AC again. So, it should be a nice journey. Yeah, which is pretty exciting because the overnight trains we've took in the past in India and Thailand and wherever, they've all been night trains, like specific night trains, and this one we get to sleep through the night and we're still on the train for five hours so we can take in some of the, the scenery. Yes. That should be really cool. Yeah. Um, we're not entirely sure if we get breakfast or food or what we get, so take some water and some snacks and see how far that gets us. Yeah. And the night train from memory costs about 2,000 rupees each. That's in 2AC, you can get cheaper, uh, but we find 2AC works for us. Yeah, it was good last time. I felt completely safe in my little pod with my curtains shut and I slept all through the night. 
But overall, a fantastic couple of days in Agra. The Taj Mahal was amazing. Like, definitely my highlight so far. It was incredible. Yeah, absolutely amazing. We'll leave you the link in the description box below to the online booking ticket. Save yourself yeah. a few, a uh, few rupees or whatever by booking online. Yeah. Also, ease the queues as well. One other thing, you get a free bottle of water and some covers for your shoes to go inside the actual mausoleum that you're normally have to buy. So, well worth looking online and getting those little freebies as well. Yeah.